All right, well, I, uh, here I am preparing to do a um, photo shoot with a model, and, the, um, and uh, of course I go into this, and then the uh, to, ironing uh, of the screen, and comparing cameras. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> totally sidetracked. So I think you know I'll definitely go into the, the model part for a little bit because that's probably what you'll find the more interesting and, uh, part, and then uh, I'll go back into all to this miscellaneous iron. footage I shot with various cameras because I can't help myself. I want to um, try the 4K photo mode with the model, um, so I'm using the, the, the Lumix or Panasonic LX100, you can see it here. Okay, there you can see under the, um, the thing you have what's called 4K fo photo mode. If you turn it um, on, um, it will basically shoot um, still images. And at uh, 30, uh, 30 frames per second, by the way, 100 megabits, I don't see any way, there's no really way to change, it's, it's grayed out. There's a, there's a selector here um, where you can choose your aspect ratio, 3 to 2, 69, 1, 1, 4, 3. And the 1, 1 essentially takes a square photo right in the frame. So, you know, really if you want to get the maximum amount of pixels, you'd shoot 4, 3. But 1-1 one, one gets a nice square thing, and really, if you're doing a headshot or whatever, that's all you want, and it saves some file size, whatever. So I shot that to get these images that I'm about to show you. Okay, so um, here's the video I shot. Um, so just told her sort of just to look around, do various poses. And again, this is 4K photo mode in the LX100 at the 1-1 one, one pixel. So it's basically the center of the, um, the sensor. Now. I could pause anywhere, and then I could use the E key to go through the frames. And let's just say that I really like this frame. I would hit Shift S, and we'll save this frame in the directory on VLC that um, I set for the captures. So I put all these in captures. So um, go into Tools, Preference, VLC, um, you go to Video. Is a video snapshots directory, so it's F Exotics captures. So I can now go to um, oh, this is going to show. Oh, is it showing that window? So now I can show an FLC uh, Exotics captures, and here it is. I was lying down thinking, you know, it sort of looks cool, you know, the model said, the soft light, the blue iron, the light as it's going against the, uh, the gray backdrop. The cameras probably won't be as wide, and I'll just like pan. So of course I had to, um, you know, compare the cameras and compare the, you know, the G6 I'm shooting here with the LX100 and even a little bit of the A7. Okay, so now I'm shooting with the, uh, the LX100, uh, F2, eighth of a second, ISO 400. I'm going to pan, pan around. I'm pretty sloppy panning. Here's a shot I took with the A7 and the 55 millimeter. Probably shot wide open at 1.8. And here's one I shot against the white. I have like a, you know, one of those. Um, projector screens and then um, she's facing the window. Then we went outside and just did a classic, you know, model pose in front of this uh, sculpture um, that's in Porter Square. Here she is looking straight into the sun. Um, anyway, <laughs> it's just an amazing lens. So which uh, shot did she choose to put up on uh, Model Mayhem? It was this one and it's a screen grab from the LX100. Not many of the shots I took with the A7 and the nice lenses. So there you go. Um, the public has spoken. The LX100 is uh, plenty fine. <laughs> Here's some more footage. Um, this time I'm shooting it with Frank, uh, a friend of mine who's a photographer. And, um, you know, originally I was using the G6 to do the um, you know the commentary of what I was going to do with the camera um, but you know I really the a6000 with that uh, 35 millimeter 1.8 it's like an effective 50 it just has such a nice 
soft background, um, which is really, you know, what I like to use. So um, it's just some footage of that. You can see us uh, playing with it. Plus, in the Sony A6000, there's a, it comes with a little mic attachment that you put into the hot shoe. Uh, it's a wireless mic. It's like $170. It's fantastic. Um, you can use the mic sort of like to do interviews with people. You can plug in an external mic. Uh, Sony just has, you know, I used to think their stuff was expensive, but now when I think about what it does, it's just uh, it's amazing, and I, and I love this camera. So I'm going to use the A6000 from now on for any sort of narration type stuff I'll do, probably. So again, the G6 is fine. I still use that, too. I didn't need that to field. <laughs> it also has a mic in, and I have some other wireless mics. I forgot to shot cool. some G6 footage, so here's the G6 right. footage, uh, same sort of setup. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I dropped my phone in the toilet this morning. Uh, I didn't pur purposely drop it. I was in the shower, and my 9 o'clock alarm went off, and it just went into the toilet. And then uh, I have been trying to dry it off ever since. I have heard many different uh, stories for how you should dry off. Thanks. Uh. Okay, so here I am using the Panasonic LX100. I'm shooting Frank while he's being recorded with the A6000 in the earlier clip. And you can see on the A6000 I have the external mic receiver and an um, external HDMI um, uh, monitor, um, which makes it easy because you can't flip the screen on the A6000, unfortunately, to see yourself. And you can see the little clip on mic on, on Frank's uh, lapel right there. Um, and again, it's pretty cool. And uh, anyway, this is more LX100 footage. Here's some uh, microphones I shot to compare this camera, and I don't remember what other camera. <laughs> I think it's a G6. Anyway, this is the LX100. Yes, it is going to be the G6 in the next clip. Um, yeah, the LX100 is definitely sharper. Um, it's a very nice, clean image. Um, but you know, the, you can put a prime lens on the G6, which is pretty nice. And honestly. But the proverbial wife is not going to know the difference, I think, between these two shots. Um, so this is the G6 with the, um, the Ollie 12. It's just a you know, beautiful image. Um, anyway, I have to throw these things in there, too, because I can never get enough of this stuff. <laughs> and I hope my audience is probably like that, too. Originally, I wanted to use um, Avi Demux to basically, I'd, you know, I'd shoot some footage and then I'd sort of clip, trim out the beginning and the end of it and then I'd label this, the footage with a name. And the great thing about Avi Demux is that it'll, um, it basically does non, it doesn't re-render, it just cuts it at the next keyframe. Unfortunately, the clips that it creates don't load in Vegas and they even crashed PowerDirector, which I was trying out to see what it was like. So um, I can't do that. Um, another problem I noticed with it is on the um, uh, A6000 footage, I guess the XAVC codec, or whatever, the audio gets choppy. And what it does to the audio, every time I watch this, I laugh my head off. Um, anyway, I'm going to show that to you pretty soon. The same clip, but you can hear the audio as interpreted or sung by Avi Demux from the A6000 running the 50 megabit uh, codec. So now... Uh, for some audio entertainment, and that'll be the uh, the end of this segment. Uh, thank you for watching. Around, so it's like good. Um, this morning, when I was in the shower, um, my phone fell to the toilet. I, uh, I uh, was on uh, alarm nine o'clock and went in there to the toilet, and uh, that was wonderful. It's completely off all day. I can't figure that. Tell I air dried it. Nothing worried. It was a reasonable check. I ordered a little dry out. The hair I sort of said that there was a bit uh, two degrees for uh, ten minutes, and it should dry me out. I just knew that. Um, and it's also saying that uh, if it's still in Satan mode, it should be a whole new bag of goodies. So there you go. I, I, really, I, I love this guitar to get on this. There's a fun thing I'm going to do. Um, the Blue Mac. Not that mess. The, the Panahon. Um, because, I mean, this is, this is sort of here. Like that, this thing is like, sure, okay. That's fantastic. But if you, you can't do beautiful, beautiful, like, boga in a in monitor. You, know, you, can, you don't get anything, you know? Like, and, I mean, this can start, like, the, the, the office is in front of you. Know? Like, it doesn't record, like, I've got to focus in, like, the jury. And I've got to focus in the zone. It's very, um, the auto-game, you know, auto-signal shot you have to kind of work with. But I've got to just really try to make the focus look like.